Wearing books, the female supporting character awakens and has a golden finger system by her side, embarking on a high-dot-profile comeback journey. Ling Xing, on the other hand, is not the supporting female character who wears books. On the contrary, she is the female protagonist who is guided by the system and takes away all her luck, but ultimately does not achieve a good outcome. Ling Xing can't understand. She sleeps all night and has been studying hard for over a decade, never daring to slack off. Why was she killed off halfway after more than ten years of hard work, not by her own ability, but by virtue of the good feelings she gained from the male leader and other supporting role, she could take away her good fortune. Fortunately, although Ling Xing does not have a powerful system gold finger, she can hear the conversation between the system and the girl wearing a book. In this way, some things can not only be prevented in advance, but also be taken care of in advance. One day, Ling Xing heard the supporting girl in the book telling the system that she wanted to conquer the highly talented and outspoken student in that class. The system advised her to give up, saying there was no result. There was indeed no result, because the learning god was in her hands. You have the protection of the system, and I have the god of learning in my hands. Let's see who will win. Struggling against fate, scholar versus long lying flat and playing bad scholar god, keywords of the novel. I have mastered the system of the book wearing female supporting character without pop-ups. I have mastered the system of the book wearing female supporting character and downloaded the complete set of TXT. I have mastered the system of the book wearing female supporting character and read the latest chapters. Chapter 1 Discovering the Female Supporting System You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Discovering the Female Supporting System Host, I would like to remind you again that according to the timeline in the book, there should not be any intersection between you and the male and female protagonists at this time. Ling Xing heard the electronic sound without any fluctuation in tone during class. At first hearing such a voice, Ling Xing's surprise can be imagined. After all, it was in class. She looked around to find the source of the sound, but found that her classmates were still listening attentively to the class, as if they had not heard that strange electronic sound at all. For a moment, Ling Xing suspected that she had hallucinations, but then she heard a girl's voice again, Oh, no, we have an old saying here. Know the enemy, know the friend, win every battle. I accept that I am a paper man or a supporting role. Why can't I come to see the male and female owners at the first time? What a mess! If the electronic sound just now was her hallucination, then whose voice is this? Ling Xing was not puzzled for too long, and the bell for the end of class rang at the right time. At the same time, the electronic voice rang out again. Host, the male lead is walking towards the direction of the teaching room. Please seize the opportunity to obtain the male lead's favorability value. Ling Xing couldn't help but feel the doubt in her heart. She asked her desk mate who was still writing and taking notes, Xiao Xiao, did you hear an electronic voice talking? Her voice was not loud, but the classroom was instantly quiet, as if pressing the pause button, and her words were still heard by the classmates around her. Xiao Xiao lifted her head from her notebook and looked at Ling Xing with a puzzled expression, what electronic sound. Paused and resumed, the classroom atmosphere returned to normal after class, with a mixture of voices, laughter, and the sound of flipping books, except for the electronic sound spoken by Ling Xing. Xiao Xiao pushed the glasses on the bridge of her nose and said, Star, have you been under too much study pressure lately and have you had auditory hallucinations? Ling Xing remained silent, her gaze fixed on the newly arrived classmate to her right. The new classmate was just secretly looking at her, but when she looked over, she quickly averted her gaze with a guilty heart and tried to put on a nonchalant look on her face. What's going on with the system? Why can she hear our conversation? Ling Xing clearly heard her impatient voice. The electronic sound quickly sounded. Host, don't worry, there may be a bug that needs to be fixed, the system is automatically detecting. Afterwards, the electronic sound turned into a busy sound, accompanied by the sizzling sound of electricity. 
The sound was too harsh, and Ling Xing felt a headache. The new classmate on the right turned around and glanced at Ling Xing as if unintentionally as the class bell rang. When Ling Xing noticed her gaze, she had already sat up straight. There are many students in remedial classes, and after the initial promotion, many students who had previously performed well in junior high school feel that they are not up to par with their studies, so most of them come out for remedial classes during the summer vacation. But the new classmate gave Ling Xing a strange impression of a girl. It was only when the remedial classes were nearing their end that she ran over to sign up. The unfinished chalk marks on the blackboard can still vaguely recognize the name of this new classmate. Chiu Yilin. I didn't hear that strange electronic sound again until Lingxing finished school. Three days of make.up classes per week are scheduled on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. There is still one week until the start of school, and there are only two days left for make.up classes. Ling Xing saw Chiu Yilin for the second time during Wednesday's class, and she didn't hear any strange electronic sounds again. She breathed a sigh of relief and convinced herself that she might indeed have had auditory hallucinations. Friday is the last day of tutoring and also the third time Ling Xing has seen Chiu Yilin. At the end of the last class, the tutoring teacher who had spent more than a month with them casually said a few words encouraging them to study hard in the future, and then left the classroom. At the same time, Ling Xing also heard the cold electronic sound for the second time, remind the host that only when you get enough favorable feelings from the male host or supporting role can you exchange them for the female host's luck. Unlike the surprise and doubt he had when he suddenly heard the sound last time, Ling Xing continued to pack up his books without even frowning throughout the process. Perhaps because of Ling Xing's last inquiry, Chiu Yilin instinctively glanced at Ling Xing after the electronic sound system started up. Seeing that Ling Xing did not show any abnormalities, she breathed a sigh of relief. Then Ling Xing heard her voice again, I know. System, you're so perfect. It seems that the female lead can't hear our conversation anymore. The cold electronic voice of the system carried a hint of pride. Host, you need to trust our professional abilities. Last time, it was only due to radio interference that the female lead heard some sounds. After upgrading and improving, this phenomenon will no longer occur. That would be great. Ling Xing glanced at the other students in the teaching room, and there was nothing unusual about them. It seems that only Chiu Yilin and her can hear the electronic sound, and I can hear the conversation between Chiu Yilin and this so dot called system myself. Ling Xing was lost in deep thought. After listening to their conversation, one could basically guess that the recurring female lead they were talking about should be her. After living for 17 years, Ling Xing didn't believe in the words of the strange and chaotic gods, but after two similar events happened before her, she couldn't help but not believe it. From Ling Xing's perspective, it can be seen that Chiu Yilin is talking to the so dot called system, but she is pursing her lips, making no sound at all. Their communication may be based on their inner thoughts, or more scientifically, on brainwaves. She and the electronic voice were discussing how to obtain the so dot called liking value from the male lead and other protagonists. Chiu Yilin showed full confidence and said, what I'm going to do is the plot of the female supporting characters come back. At least I've read 80 of the campus suite articles, so don't worry, I'm familiar with all kinds of routines. Campus Suite Text A female supporting character's comeback. Is she living in a book? This is just too absurd. Ling Xing couldn't accept it at all, she would rather she had truly developed auditory hallucinations. When Ling Xing finished packing his books and regained consciousness from deep contemplation, there were only a few classmates left in the classroom, and even Chiu Yilin was not in her seat. There was a conversation behind the classroom, and Ling Xing followed the sound and turned back to look. Chiu Yilin is talking to a boy who Ling Xing is very familiar with. He is Ji Yen, the childhood friend she grew up with. The two of them didn't know what to say. Ji Yen took out his notebook and handed it to Chiu Yilin. Chiu Yilin took the notebook and thanked Ji Yen with a smile on her face. 
Ling Xing suddenly remembered that if she were the female lead of a book, who would be the male lead? The electronic sound timely resolved her doubts, ding. Congratulations to the host. You have obtained a male lead's favorability score of plus two. Currently, the total favorability score of the male lead is two. Please continue to work hard. If your favorability score reaches 20, you can exchange it for two points of the female lead's luck. Chiu Yilin looked over and smiled even happier. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Stealing Her Desk Mate You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Stealing Her Desk Mate The school season starts in September. Starting from the second year of high school, there are humanities and sciences. In the second half of high school, there are statistics, and Ling Xing chose science as his major. On the day before the start of school, former desk mate Nan Shi sent a WeChat message to Ling Xing, informing her that Ling Xing had been assigned to class 3 of grade 2, while she had been assigned to class 8. Sitting together for a year, the friendship between the two has long risen from classmates to good friends. Nanshi sent a bunch of crying emojis and several paragraphs on WeChat, with reluctance between the lines. At first, Ling Xing looked quite moved, but when she saw the last sentence she sent, nothing moved her mind in an instant. Nanshi. Star, I can't be your desk mate anymore. Whose homework should I copy? The night before the start of school, Ling Xing also received a WeChat from F.A. Ziajian, saying that they were going to school together tomorrow morning. The two families are very close, and they have been to school together since childhood. Originally, Ling Xing thought it was nothing, but since she found out that she and Ji Yan might be the male and female leads in the same book, she inexplicably felt uncomfortable. Heaven and Earth have a conscience, she has always only regarded Ji Yan as a good friend, and has never had any other thoughts. The next day, Ji Yan came very early, and before he arrived, Nanshi also came to find Ling Xing. The three of them walked towards the school together, and along the way, Ling Xing and Nan Shi were chatting. Ji Yan occasionally interjected, and they were basically very quiet. Ji Yan, who was not surprised, was also in class 3. Before the teacher could arrange seats at the beginning of the school year, the students sat casually. Coming early at this time was an advantage, and the better seats in the middle were basically filled up. Ling Xing chose a relatively backward position, the second to last row, which can be said to be very backward. Ji Yan didn't want to sit in the first to last row, so he sat on Ling Xing's left side, only separated by an aisle between the two. In the second year of high school, the homeroom teacher changed. On the day before the start of the school year, the homeroom teacher temporarily built a class group. Before everyone could join, they at everyone and said that male and female students were not allowed to sit together, and asked the students in the group to inform each other when they arrived in the classroom. When he heard the electronic sound again, Ling Xing's nerves tightened all over his body. Host, the new desk mate of the female lead has appeared near the classroom. In the future, she will be the biggest assist in the development of the male and female lead's relationship. Please guide her. Her 20 points of favorability can be exchanged for the female lead some luck points. Ah. You can only exchange a little at 20 o'clock. Chiu Yilin's voice was clearly dissatisfied and she even complained, you guys are really getting more and more scammed. Ling Xing followed the sound and saw the location of Chiu Yilin. Very good, Ji Yan's front table. When Ling Xing withdrew his gaze, he saw another tall and thin girl walking into the classroom door, and at the same time, electronic music rang out again, prompt host, the target character has appeared. Okay, I'm ready. Chiu Yilin was ready and quietly moved the chair towards the aisle. When the girl walked over, she pretended to tilt the chair and threw it onto the aisle. Unexpectedly, the girl was startled and took a step back, but did not hold on to her as expected by Chiu Yilin. She fell heavily to the ground, her painful moans changing tone. For a moment, the entire class's gaze turned towards Chiu Yilin. The girl widened her eyes and carefully lowered her half to ask Chiu Yilin, 
who was grinning in pain, are you okay? She raised her hands and was clearly frightened. Her face was covered in words. She fell by herself, I didn't touch her. Cho Yilin was helped up by another girl. After getting up, she gave a stiff smile and said, it's okay, it's okay. I didn't sit still and didn't scare you, right? The girl's expression finally relaxed, and the two of them stood in the aisle and said a few more words. Cho Yilin's acting skills are also quite clumsy. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained the favorable feeling value of the main supporting actor Zhou Yanwen plus two, please make persistent efforts. Ling Xing is a bit incredulous. Does this give him a good impression? Too easy, isn't it? It seems that clumsiness also has its benefits. High school sophomores are only 16 or 17 years old and have not yet been subjected to social abuse. Most of their thoughts are relatively simple, and they naturally establish a good impression of their classmates quickly. With those two points of favorability, Zhou Yilin successfully transformed Zhou Yenwen into her desk mate. After sitting down in her seat, she glanced in the direction of Ling Xing with a hint of confusion. The two of them looked at each other across the air, and Zhou Yilin probably didn't expect Ling Xing to be looking at her. She was stunned for a moment before turning her head in a panic. The thief always feels guilty. Ling Xing withdrew her gaze as if nothing had happened, and continued to wipe the desk with a wet wipes. She wiped her own side clean and even wiped the empty space on the right side for her future desk mate, feeling unsatisfied. Throwing the wet wipes into the trash can and folding them back, Ling Xing sat down in her seat when she heard a girl talking to her, hello, classmate. She instinctively looked up, and the girl standing on the right side of her desk gave her the first impression of sweetness. Not only was her voice sweet, but her appearance also sweet and charming. Even the pair of pear vortices that laughed were as intoxicating as sweet wine. The girl pressed her hands weakly on the desk, and when Ling Xing looked over, there was a hint of hesitation in her expression, and her voice lowered a bit. Classmate, do you have a desk mate? If not, can I be your desk mate? I don't have a desk mate yet, Ling Xing pointed to the empty seat on the right. If you don't mind sitting too far back, you can sit here. Sweet girl's figure looked a bit petite, but the position she is currently in is clearly too far back. It's okay, there are also benefits to being back, the girl opened her chair and sat down in an empty seat, stuffing her backpack into the desk hole. She touched the clean tabletop with her fingers and smiled at Ling Xing, it's so clean. Ling Xing has reason to suspect that this girl probably wanted to sit here with her because she saw her wiping the table clean. Of course, desk mates should introduce themselves and get to know each other. Ling Xing was stunned for a while when he learned the girl's name was Zingjila. When Zingjila found out that her desk mate was Ling Xing, he also showed a surprised expression. Their grades are both considered very good, which is strange to say. Every time on the grade ranking list, their names are closely adjacent to each other, with no other person's name interspersed between them. When Ling Xing ranked 13th, Zheng Zhila ranked 12th. When Zheng Zhila ranked 18th, Ling Xing ranked 17th. When Ling Xing worked hard to reach the 12th place in the grade, Zheng Zhila also reached the 11th place in the grade. When Zheng Zhila finished 11th in the final exam, Ling Xing finished 10th. Both of them can be said to make progress and both of them will make progress. For a whole year in high school, the ranking of the two students in their grades has never been separated, whether in the middle or end of the term. However, they secretly fought for a whole year in terms of grades, but the two of them didn't know each other because one was in class 11 and the other was in class 17. If they didn't deliberately want to get to know each other, there would be no chance for them to get to know each other. After a long time, Ling Xing finally regained her senses. She held the hand that Zingjila had reached out and slowly smiled, fate. Zingjila also smiled and said, not really. Who knew that fate was so wonderful? The classroom was still chaotic, and Xiu Yilin withdrew her gaze from Ling Xing. She quietly asked the system, system, 
I snatched the female lead's original desk mate. Will the female lead's current desk mate replace Zhou Yanwen and become the male and female lead's assistant in the future? Ling Xing was also silently waiting for the system's answer, but the system remained silent for a rare moment before saying, Host, this contains uncertain factors. Currently, we cannot detect whether the plot will forcefully reverse. Chiu Yilin didn't speak. The system also said. No matter whether the plot will forcibly reverse its position, the host, you should try to brush more favorable feelings of supporting role at present, and exchange the fortune value of the female leader early, so as to prevent the situation from becoming uncontrollable. In just a short while, Chiu Yilin had regained her fighting spirit and said, I'm not afraid. I'm following the female lead's comeback route. Before coming, I had read many novels about female leads wearing books to become group pets. Moreover, this book is just a sweet essay of around 200,000 words. The female lead, besides achieving better academic results, has a pure love brain. If I didn't underestimate her, she really doesn't have the ability to turn things around. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Forgetting that school started today you are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Forgetting that school started today the new homeroom teacher of class 3 in grade 2 is a female teacher, surnamed Yu, who is just in her 30s and looks very young. She was introducing herself on the podium when she was interrupted by the sound of a report coming from outside the door. Someone was late on the first day of school. Who has the courage to be so fat? All the classmates in the class stretched their necks to look at the classroom door. From Ling Xing's perspective, she couldn't see the front door of the classroom. She simply saved the effort of looking outside. On the podium, teacher Yu didn't look angry. She looked at her classmates outside the classroom and said, Classmate, before entering the classroom, please tell me your reason for being late. A clear voice belonging to the youth came from outside the door. Forgot the start of school today, overslept. Ha ha ha. As soon as he finished speaking, the quiet classroom was covered in laughter. Teacher Yu shook his head helplessly and said, Then you must remember your time for school in the future. Don't be late again, come in and take a seat. The boy walked into the classroom, and the seats in front were already full, with only the last row available. He glanced briefly, without hesitation, and walked straight to the last row. When Ling Xing looked up, the boy happened to walk past her and didn't see what he looked like, only vaguely seeing that his skin was very white. Ha, Xing Zhila's surprised voice came to his ear, how could you still work with Su Qing? Su Qing Luo. That boy just now. Ling Xing thought carefully and confirmed that he had never heard of this name before. He should be a friend of Zheng Zhila. Teacher Yu's interrupted self-introduction seamlessly connected, and her witty and humorous speech sometimes caused classmates to burst into laughter, creating a harmonious atmosphere in the class. Before the new books are distributed, students take turns introducing themselves. Generally, they will introduce themselves in a few sentences. When it's Ling Xing's turn to be at the back desk, there are only three simple words, Su Qin Luo. Is that all? There was a strange moment of silence in the class. There will always be one or two backbones in each class. Teacher Yu takes it easy and asks the next student to continue introducing themselves. As expected, Ling Xing heard Chiu Yilin's voice again. System, is that Su Qin Luo the main character in the book? The electronic sound of the system quickly rang out. No, He's just a canon fodder character that the author casually mentioned with a few strokes, mainly to highlight the excellence of the male lead, and the host doesn't have to waste time on him. Chiu Yilin readily agreed, okay. The new books were quickly distributed, and for a moment, the entire classroom was filled with the fragrance of books. Ling Xing wrote his name on a new book, and Zheng Zhila leaned over his little head to read it before praising, wow, your handwriting is so good. The envy in the tone was almost overflowing. What can a name tell? Coincidentally, Zheng Zhila was also writing his name on the new book, and Ling Xing leaned over to take a look. 
his expression instantly became somewhat indescribable. Well, at the very least, a name is good enough to recognize the characters. Isn't it said that seeing words is like seeing people? Zengzila's grades are so good, his appearance is so sweet, why is his handwriting like that of an elementary school chicken? Zengzila sighed helplessly and said, To be honest, I have lost quite a few points in words every time I take an exam. Ling Xing nodded and said, I can see it. At the same time, Ling Xing also knew that if Zengzila had written well, she would not have had the opportunity to rank higher than her. Getting this recognition on the first day of school is not very friendly to Ling Xing. The two continued to write their respective names. As soon as they finished writing two books, Ling Xing heard Ji Yan calling her, and she turned her head to look over. The two of them are separated by an aisle, making it quite convenient for them to talk. Ji Yan is very good dot looking, and every time he smiles, there is always a comfortable and gentle feeling. As Ling Xing looked over, Ji Yan's smile deepened. He was about to speak when Chiu Yilin, who was sitting at his front table, suddenly sat sideways and turned to look at him. Chiu Yilin's expression showed a deliberate surprise. Ji Yan, it's really you. We're actually in the same class, so lucky. To be honest, her expression of pretended surprise was very exaggerated. Moreover, just now when Ji Yan was introducing himself, Ling Xingming saw her looking back. Ji Yan can only be considered a half-straight man, although silly, not foolish. Faced with Chiu Yilin's excessive enthusiasm, his smile at the corner of his mouth narrowed a bit and he said, Hmm, classmate Chiu. Ji Yan, Chiu Yilin didn't seem to see Ji Yan's coldness at all. She even changed her tone of voice. She took out a black notebook from her desk and handed it to Ji Yan, this is the note I borrowed from you last time. I thought I didn't have a chance to return it to you. During break time, the classroom was noisy, and Ling Xing was too lazy to continue listening. He turned his head and continued writing his name in the book. After she finished writing her name, the bell for class also rang. Along with the ringing of the class bell, there was also a system electronic sound. Ding! Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a male lead's favorability score of plus one. Currently, the total favorability score of the male lead is three. Please continue to work hard. Ling Xing was really surprised. She had just noticed that Ji Yan's expression was a bit impatient. She didn't expect that in just a few minutes, Chiu Yilin would make him change his view of her. TSK this damn life is full of surprises. Now she wants to know what kind of luck value Chiu Yilin can exchange for her after collecting enough 20 points of goodwill. Living in a book is not something she cannot accept, but if Chiu Yilin relies on such shameful means to seize the fruits of her countless efforts, she will never let it go or give in. After all, that kind of behavior is truly foolish. What is the male and female lead? What kind of luck? After living for seventeen years, which of the things she wanted was not obtained through her own efforts? The noon class is basically about getting to know each other with teachers from various subjects, and the heat of the holiday has completely dissipated. At this time, everyone's crazy summer heart is completely confiscated. In the last ten minutes before school ended, the teacher went out and almost as soon as he left, the classroom became noisy. The newly appointed class monitor said, classmates, keep quiet. But he has not yet established his authority, so he doesn't care about what his classmates should chat about. He is not ambiguous at all. Zengzila remained quiet for two minutes, then put down the pen in his hand and sat sideways on the chair, looking back at the table. Ling Xing unconsciously followed her and looked back at the table. The number of people in the class is odd, and the last row behind them is only the late boy. And will he be lying on the desk sleeping? Is this a sleeping god? Ling Xing still remembers that the reason he was late was because he overslept. Zheng Zhila lightly patted the table and whispered his name, Su Qin Luo. There was no response. Zheng Zhila was not embarrassed at all. She continued to call him, Su Qin Luo. 
Su Qin Luo. Su Qin Luo. Su. For a long time, Su Qin Luo finally lifted his head from the desk and impatiently glanced at Xing Jila, say it. The attitude can be described as very indifferent. Ling Xing finally caught a glimpse of his appearance. Well, at that stunning glance, she was completely right. The young man's skin was indeed extremely white, and his facial features were as distinct as carvings, with sharp edges and exceptional beauty. Especially those two clear water-like eyes, there is an indescribable clarity when looking at people, and they look extremely clean. At this moment, Ling Xing suddenly remembered a sentence. You are the rain on the eaves of April, and also the stunning guest of the world. This young man, who is beautiful enough to amaze the lush years, is actually a cannon fodder that sets off the male lead. Is this setting somewhat unacceptable and incompetent? The voice of Zheng Jila over there pulled back Ling Xing's thoughts of running away. Aren't you on the last shift of the crane all year round? Why did you run three shifts this time? As is well known, the last shift of the crane is the worst shift. Su Qing Luo was too lazy to talk to her and pretended to continue sleeping. Zheng Jila suddenly placed his hands on his desk and leaned forward, saying, If you don't give me a satisfactory answer, I'll keep bothering you and making you unable to sleep. Upon hearing this, Su Qing Luo frowned, noticeably becoming even more impatient. He gave Zheng Jila a response. I did two extra questions during the final exam. After doing two more questions, I was able to move from the last class of the crane to the third class. Isn't this guy boasting too much? Zheng Jila had a, I just knew, expression, and her voice softened a lot. God, can I ask you one last question? Su Qin Luo lowered her eyelids without making a sound, completely believing that Zheng Jila was the heir. Zheng Jila remained unyielding and said, Do you think I have a chance to become the top student in my grade this year? Ling Xing felt it was necessary to remind her desk mate that in the final exam of her first year of high school, her grades were in the eleventh place of her grade, one place lower than her, and she didn't even make it to the tenth place of her grade. Su Qin Luo did not pay attention to her, but looked up at Ling Xing and said, Classmate. The two of them looked at each other, and Ling Xing finally realized that his eyes were clean and tidy. They were beautiful, but very indifferent. When looking at people, they looked like an ancient well without any ripples. With just one glance, he averted his gaze and said, Please keep an eye on your desk mate and don't disturb me. After speaking, he lay down on the desk and continued to sleep. Ling Xing, End of this Chapter Chapter 4 If you can't learn it, you'll have to study hard. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 if you can't learn it, you'll have to study hard the relationship between girls is most easily sublimated. Ling Xing didn't have any other familiar classmates in class 3 of his sophomore year except for Ji Yen. Coincidentally, his new desk mate Sing Jila didn't either, so the two of them went to the school cafeteria for lunch at noon. As soon as they found an empty seat to sit down, Ling Xing heard Chiu Yilin's voice again. Hey, Yen Wen! There's a seat available over there. Let's go sit over there. Ling Xing really had immunity to this sound, and looked up. Coincidentally, Chiu Yilin was pointing to their side. It's really exhausting. There are so many empty seats in the cafeteria, why does Chiu Yilin insist on sitting with them? No matter how Ling Xing thought in her heart, it didn't show on her face. When Chiu Yilin walked over to greet her, she even nodded politely. Chiu Yilin and Zhou Yanwen were not polite at all. They not only sat on Ling Xing's side, but also one next to Ling Xing and the other next to Zheng Jila. Zheng Jila's hand holding the spoon paused noticeably, without looking up, only accelerating the pace of eating. Zhou Yanwen sat diagonally opposite Ling Xing. After sitting down, she first looked at Ling Xing, then turned her head to look at Zheng Jila and then asked in confusion, do we seem to be from the same class? After asking all the questions, it's not good not to answer. Zheng Jila let out a, hmm, from his nose, lowered his head, and continued to work. 
His attitude was cold and there was no intention of talking. Zhou Yenwen and Chiu Yilin exchanged a glance, and they didn't say anything anymore. They quietly started eating. Warning. The warning electronic sound at a higher volume suddenly sounded, and Ling Xing was startled, almost losing his spoon in his hand. Chiu Yilin was obviously not much better either. She was so scared that she trembled, which made her not even notice Ling Xing's abnormality. Instead, she was worried that Ling Xing and the others might see something was wrong. She glanced at them several times and only then did she let go after confirming that they had no abnormality. Warning host, your character is portrayed in the book as a female lead who creates obstacles for the female lead. Please do not deviate from the female lead's character and do not attempt to establish a good relationship with her. This sentence was spoken in a cold electronic voice three times before stopping. Ha, huh, Chiu Yilin quietly let out a sigh of relief. On the surface, she could see her holding a spoon while playing with rice, but in fact, only Ling Xing could hear her talking to the system. System, I'm also here to get to know the female lead better. I've seen her several times, but I still don't understand her at all. I can't act rashly without knowing anything, can I? There are no emotions or desires, only the system that knows the task doesn't care about these. Warning. If the host violates the female supporting character design again, they will be randomly punished. When the system said this, Chiu Yilin couldn't sit still in an instant, stood up, picked up the plate, and was about to leave. Zhou Yenwen also stood up with her and said, don't eat anymore. Well, Chiu Yilin casually joked, I'm a bit tired of the cafeteria food, I really don't have much appetite. The two of them left together with their plates. Zheng Zhila bit a spoon and looked at their backs with a disdainful expression on his face. Why do I think they're inexplicable? Inexplicably, Ling Xing doesn't care. She has completely confirmed and started accepting the existence of that electronic sound. After lunch, the two of them went back together. As they passed by the bulletin board, Zheng Zhila stopped and looked for a while. She was looking at the honor wall, which had photos of four outstanding senior students. M. The catchphrase reached his lips, and Zheng Zhila hesitated about not being familiar with Ling Xing yet. He swallowed it again, I really envy these senior students. Envy is useless, you still have to work hard on your own. As soon as class started in the afternoon, all students in class 3 of grade 2 received bad news. The start of the school entrance exam. For a moment, the entire high school sophomore and third class howled, almost overturning the roof. Even worse, they patted their chests and screamed, Teacher, please give me a good time and kill me directly. Amidst the howls of sorrow, Zheng Zhila's enthusiastic rubbing of his fists and palms appeared particularly prominent. Ling Xing probably guessed and whispered to Zheng Zhila, Did you go to make up classes during the summer vacation? That's right, Zheng Zhila laughed heartily. When I was in my freshman year of high school, my homeroom teacher told us an eternal truth. A foolish bird must fly first, and if you can't learn, you'll have to study hard. What you said is too reasonable, it's hard for Ling Xing to disagree. Zheng Zhila turned around and asked Ling Xing, did you also go to make up classes? Ling Xing nodded and said, it seems that our tutoring institutions are not the same. If they were in the same family, the two would probably have gotten to know each other long ago. No matter how much you howl, it's useless. After all, each person has one copy of the exam paper to hand. After 90 minutes of practice, the class quickly quieted down after receiving the test paper, only hearing the sound of the paper flipping. Ling Xing had just written his name on the exam paper, and before he could even read the question, he heard Chiu Yilin's voice again which was particularly abrupt in the quiet classroom. System system, the test paper has been sent out, but I don't know how to do it. What should I do? Can you provide an answer? Electronic voice is a business attitude. Host, the answer can be exchanged through Qi Yun value, and the total favorability value you have obtained has not yet reached the minimum exchange value. Can you please accommodate me? 
if I fail the exam, wouldn't it violate the role model of a supporting actress? Your female supporting role is only limited to not getting along well with the female lead. Moreover, when the host takes on the task, you have already completed high school. The implication is that these high school questions should not be difficult for her. There is no sound from Chiu Yilin's side. Ling Xing was no longer disturbed and buried his head in practicing the questions. The bell for the end of the first class had just sounded, and Ling Xing heard the creaking sound of the desks and chairs rubbing against the floor behind him. Then a tall and thin figure walked from the hallway to the podium. Most of the students in the class looked up and saw the boy who was late this morning. He took the test paper onto the teaching desk and turned his head to leave the classroom door. Skilled in attitude, it seems that this matter has been done quite well. Teacher you didn't stop, so he picked up the paper he had placed on the teaching desk and looked at it. Then. His face was very ugly. Zingjila murmured softly, I haven't seen you for many years, I'm still a warrior. In the last five minutes of the second class, most of the students in the class have submitted their papers. Ling Xing has checked them for the last time and is also preparing to submit them. She had just stood up, and Ji Yen, who was separated from her by a hallway, also stood up. Less than a meter apart, Ji Yen Chongling blinked his right eye and then silently said, together. Saying it's together is actually one before and one after. There are still some students in the class who have not submitted their papers. In order not to affect their problem dot solving, they can only wait in the hallway for the bell to ring after class. Outside the corridor. Ji Yen stood next to Ling Xing and whispered to her, Star, let's go together after school. Ji Yen. The sudden voice interrupted halfway through Ji Yen's speech. Ling Xing and Ji Yen looked up at each other, and Xiu Yilin, who had just walked from the classroom, walked towards them with a smile on her face. Chiu Yilin has a full and three-dot-dimensional face, with smooth lines, long eyebrows, big eyes, and obvious silkworms. She has a very bright appearance. She deliberately ignored Ling Xing and walked straight to Ji Yen, saying, Ji Yen, I heard that your grades are very good. Can I compare the answers with you? Ling Xing also looked towards Ji Yen. Ji Yen touched the bridge of his nose, seeming hesitant. After hesitating for a while, he still responded, okay. Ling Xing had long known that Ji Yen was indecisive and never knew how to refuse others, especially those with smiling faces. However, when he truly experienced this moment again, he couldn't quite understand what he felt in his heart. Probably influenced by the conversation between Chiu Yilin and Jianin, I can't figure out how I would choose to be with a central air conditioner for the rest of my life, right? Of course, the central air conditioning system will consider everyone's feelings. While agreeing to Chiu Yilin, Ji Yen did not forget to pull on Ling Xing and said, Star, let's also compare the answers together. No need. Ling Xing hung the hair that had slipped onto her cheeks back on her ear, and took two steps back. I'm not in a hurry to know the answer. At the moment when the bell rang for the end of class, she was too lazy to see Ji Yan's reaction and turned back to the classroom. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 The plot officially unfolds. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 the plot officially unfolds Ling Xing had just returned to the classroom when Ji Yan and Chiu Yilin followed her back one by one. The weather in early September is still fierce, and the autumn tiger can blow the air conditioning in the classroom. No one wants to sweat profusely outside. Ling Xing didn't pay much attention to them. When he returned to his seat, he saw his desk mate Sing Jila biting his pen cap with a thoughtful expression, like a naive child, looking extremely cute. I don't know what she was thinking, but after a while, her gaze slowly fell on Ling Xing. She tentatively touched Ling Xing's arm with a pen and said, Hey desk mate, do you think the last question is a bit convoluted? Not long after handing in the exam paper, Ling Xing still had some impression of the last big question that trapped her. After careful consideration, she said, It's a bit convoluted, 
but my calculation for the last question is that the B formula doesn't hold and there is no solution. Sigh. Zheng Zhila whimpered and lay dejected on the desk. I calculated several times but couldn't find a solution. Later, I realized that the exam questions at the beginning of the school year might not be as exciting to play with. In the end, I calculated two more times and randomly came up with an answer to fill in. Their grades are basically half a pound and eight tails. Ling Xing couldn't be sure if her answer was right either. She comforted her desk mate and said, Your answer may not be wrong, and my answer may not be right either. When the test paper is distributed, the teacher will definitely explain that question. That's right, Zheng Zhila sat straight in his body. Instead of being indecisive, it's better to ask Su Qing Luo. But Su Qing Luo didn't come back until the class bell rang. Ling Xing heard the electronic sound once again. Ding! Congratulations to the host, you have obtained a male lead's favorability score of plus 5. Currently, the male lead's total favorability score is 8. Please continue to work hard. Numb. Across the aisle, while the teacher on the podium had not yet started teaching, Ling Xing glanced sideways at Ji Yen. The afternoon sun was scorching, and the curtains in the classroom were tightly closed. The boy sat by the window, looking up at the teacher on the podium. His back was straight, and his profile was graceful with a touch of softness, giving people a very easy duck going feeling. I only met Chiu Yilin a few times, and my favorability rating once reached 8 points. Isn't it easy to get along with? Chiu Yilin has a system like this. Although it is mysterious, Ling Xing's ability to accept it is extraordinary. She was forced to accept it even before the start of school. Being forced to accept is one thing, and hearing that Chiu Yilin is gradually delaying her strategy, and about to receive the strategy reward is another thing. Her mentality has been somewhat influenced, and she didn't even pay much attention to the content taught by the teacher in this class. The last class in the afternoon was a self.study class. In the first half of the class, the teacher was watching in the classroom. The classroom was quiet like a chicken, and only the sound of solving problems and flipping books could be heard. The teachers on the podium in the second half of the class were called out by the teaching director, almost the first second their figures disappeared, and the quiet classroom instantly became noisy. After a long summer vacation, many students have already unleashed their wild instincts, and few can truly calm down to study unless they are watched by their teachers. A few boys at the front table were playing around and accidentally bumped into Ling Xing's desk while retreating. They quickly turned around with a smile and said sorry. Politeness is quite polite, but arguing too much. In a noisy classroom, where does there seem to be a half-hour class? The new class monitor has already passed away. Adhering to the principle of joining if he can't control himself, he felt at ease and gathered with his desk mate to chat. Tisk. Zheng Zhila felt a headache from the argument and threw down his pen, leaning against the back table. She exerted a bit of force, and the empty back table couldn't withstand her force. The table legs rubbed against the ground and made a creaking sound. Ling Xingyu glanced at her open notebook, which was a half-drawn comic. If you ignore that abrupt black line, the drawing is pretty good. It seems that her desk mate hasn't calmed down to study either. The air conditioning in the classroom has been forced to limit the temperature, and 26 degrees Celsius is not a suitable temperature for some students. A few bold individuals, knowing that the air conditioning temperature could not be lowered, still leaned over to the air conditioning at the back of the classroom and pressed the downward triangle several times, displaying a 26 degrees number without moving. Ding! Remind the host, the plot officially unfolds. In the noisy classroom, electronic sounds don't sound so clear either. Coming again. Ling Xing moved to the left, propping his forehead with his elbow on the desk, pretending to be reading, while actually listening to how the plot unfolds. Plot tip. The female lead is responsible for designing the chalkboard newspaper for the class and has won the second place in the school evaluation. 
The host's task this time is to design the chalkboard newspaper for the female lead and achieve corresponding or higher grades than those in the original book. The successful task host will receive random rewards and follow dot up plot tips. If the task fails, the goodwill value obtained from the male host or individual supporting role will be deducted, and there will be no follow dot up plot tips. Blackboard Report Chiu Yilin's voice was suppressed very low, and Ling Xing couldn't hear what she was talking to the system. He could only see her looking back at the blackboard behind the classroom. As she turned around, Ling Xing also glanced at the blackboard behind her. While the blackboard newspaper drawn by her former high school sophomore and third class classmate was indeed good, after a long time of baptism, the patterns and excerpts on the blackboard had become blurred in many places, and the dust on the blackboard was obvious. The annual blackboard report is undoubtedly the most important for the class teacher. Ling Xing began to doubt whether the female protagonist mentioned by the system was actually her. She didn't know how to draw at all, so how could she possibly take over the task of drawing a blackboard newspaper, which is related to the collective honor of the class? The noisy classroom suddenly quieted down at this moment, which was a sign of the teacher's return. The students immediately sat upright, flipping open their books and pretending to be studying. After a few seconds of silence, there was no sign of the teacher outside the hallway or inside the classroom. Then there was a burst of laughter in the classroom, causing another commotion. The story of the wolf coming cannot be played much, it means that when the teacher truly enters the classroom from behind, the noisy classroom gradually quiets down from behind. There were a few boys who didn't know what they were talking about, but they were in high spirits when the teacher slapped the table under his nose and burst into laughter. Then, one of the students inadvertently looked up and saw the teacher's expressionless face, which made a loud moan the teacher is very angry, and the consequences are very serious. Due to discipline and lack of self-discipline, the students in the latter half of the class were forced to accept a sea of soulful chicken soup sent by Teacher Yu. There is always one thing in common between teachers, which is to infuse the hearts of students with chicken soup. When the bell rang for the end of school, Teacher Yu was tapping the blackboard and wiping it to the point of excitement, without saying anything about the end of class. They were forced to stay in court. When the chicken soup was almost filled, Teacher Yu took out an A4 paper from somewhere and glanced at it before ordering the names of two classmates, Ling Xing and Zheng Jila, please stand up. Ling Xing and Zheng Jila looked at each other in confusion and stood up together. They sat in the back seat, and many students turned around with curious eyes. Teacher Yu looked at them in surprise for a while, and his dignified face slowly showed a smile. So you two are sitting together, quite coincidentally. I learned from your homeroom teacher in the first year of high school that Zheng Jila is good at drawing, while Ling Xing's handwriting is very good. This time, our class is blackboard newspaper. Ling Xing let out a thud in his heart, unable to articulate the exact taste in this moment, only one thing was incredibly clear. What was supposed to come would really come. Until teacher Yu finished arranging the blackboard newspaper and walked out of the classroom, Cho Yilin didn't express anything. She only looked back at the blackboard newspaper after school with an unclear meaning, her eyes full of determination to win. Ling Xing was inexplicably anticipating the direction of the matter that would follow. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Borrowing Earplugs You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 6 Borrowing earplugs on the day of returning home from school, Ling Xing and Zheng Jila added each other on WeChat in the class group. Zheng Jila is both rigorous and efficient in her work. She searched online for several pictures of blackboard newspapers and sent them to Ling Xing, saying they were for reference and asking her to provide suggestions. Ling Xing doesn't know how to draw, and he doesn't have any objections to the few paintings selected by Zheng Jila. She zoomed in on the picture for a while and dryly replied with two words. It looks good. Zheng Jila. Is that all? Otherwise. Every year, the Blackboard newspaper receives awards for new innovations, and even the most beautiful ones on the internet are the creative ideas that others have used. 
Xing Zhila clearly knew this too. She sent a sigh expression, and Ling Xing went back to touch his head, ending the conversation. Many students in the class group have been brought in, and they are chatting enthusiastically in the group. Even the homeroom teacher occasionally makes a fuss, reminding everyone not to get addicted to games and to focus on studying hard when school starts. The students received well-behaved and neat replies one by one, but turned around and left a small group behind their homeroom teacher to continue chatting. In fact, the only ones who are most active in chatting are those few classmates. Other classmates can't even get in touch with each other, or even if they insert a few words, they will treat the whole conversation as if they haven't seen it and ignore it at all. It's not very interesting. The next day, Ling Xing got up early in the morning and when she was leaving, she met Ji Yan who came to school with her at the door. The boy stood in the morning light and smiled gently at her, stars, early morning. It's meaningless to vent one's anger, after all, Ji Yan couldn't hear the voices she heard. After thinking about this, Ling Xing quickly adjusted his mood and greeted Ji Yan with a smile. Good morning. The relationship between the two recovered as usual before Ji Yan noticed any abnormalities. Ling Xing arrived relatively early. When she arrived in class, there were not many people in the class, and her desk mate Xing Zhila, who arrived earlier than her, was cleaning her desk. Wipe inside and out, little by little with great care. When Ling Xing walked in and sat down, he smelled a strong smell of alcohol. There is a transparent spray bottle on the desk. The transparent liquid in it should be alcohol. Zheng Zhila collected the spray bottle into the table and looked at Ling Xing with a shy expression. Alcohol can disinfect. My mother is a doctor, and I have a slight family inherited cleanliness. Oh. Ling Xing suddenly realized that no wonder when Zheng Zhila sat in the empty seat next to her, the first thing he saw was not what kind of desk mate he would have in the future, but whether his desk would be clean. Regardless of gender, loving cleanliness is always a good thing. Moreover, Zheng Zhila's cleanliness obsession is quite mild and has not yet reached that pathological level. The morning reading ends at 7.30, and after taking a 10-minute break, the bell for class rings on time. The boy who was late yesterday morning and skipped class in the afternoon stepped on the bell and walked in front of the teacher, who walked into the classroom first. The new English teacher has a fresh face. He stood on the podium and stared at Su Qing Luo sitting down in his seat. Although his face was ugly, he didn't say anything at all. After a brief self-introduction, the English teacher opened the book and lesson plan and directly entered the teaching mode. He hadn't said a word on the podium yet, but Xiu Yilin, who had been quiet for a whole morning, started chatting with the system speaker as usual. The topic revolved around Su Qin Luo, who stepped into the classroom. It was obvious to explore outside the words. How could such a rebellious teenager be regarded as a different scene in his youth? How could he not even be regarded as a supporting role in the book? The system explains it with patience. This world is originally a story written by the author. Although it is a story, these people are all flesh and blood with their own thoughts. As long as they do not affect the main line of the story, we are not allowed to interfere, no matter how bright they are. All the logical settings are meant to drive the plot. Ling Xing accurately grasped the key point of not being allowed to intervene. The English teacher provided examples of events that occurred in daily life based on the explanation, and spoke fluently in English on the podium. Ling Xing accurately took notes while listening attentively to Chiu Yilin's conversation. After the conversation above, Chiu Yilin asked Ling Xing the question she most wanted to know. Didn't my arrival disrupt the main storyline? After a moment of silence, the system said, the reason we chose the host is because you have outstanding emotional and social skills. We have received feedback from most readers, who have said they have read enough Shoutian articles and want to read some malicious female supporting character awakening articles. We hope the host can fulfill their mission as expected. The conversation between Chiu Yilin and the system over there was forced to end. After speaking for most of the class, 
the English teacher on the podium began a segment that scared the vast majority of students, calling for names and asking questions. Coincidentally, it was the name of Zhou Yenwen, Chiu Yilin's desk mate, that was clicked on. Zhou Yenwen's grades are average, and coupled with her being distracted just now, she couldn't calm down and listen attentively to the class. She would face the teacher's questions and couldn't answer them at all. There was a eerie silence in the classroom for a moment, and Zhou Yenwen, who was standing there, lowered her head in embarrassment. Chiu Yilin didn't seize this opportunity to create a favorable impression because she had just focused on talking to the system and didn't pay attention to the class. However, due to some obstacles in her studies, the system was unable to help her. With this lesson, how dare Chiu Yilin not concentrate in class in the future? In the end, the English teacher asked Zhou Yenwen to sit down and didn't ask any more questions from other classmates. He gave a detailed explanation of what was just said. For classes in the morning passed quickly. The rest time at noon is relatively long. After returning from the cafeteria to the classroom, most students will lie on their desks and take a nap. For most high school students, taking a nap is essential, even if it's just a short nap, they will stay awake throughout the afternoon. As school has just started, the students are still very energetic, and there is a lot of talking and noise in the classroom. Ling Xing lay on the desk for a long time, feeling drowsy. However, she was so disturbed that she couldn't sleep at all. Unfortunately, she had to open her eyes and sit up straight. As soon as he sat upright, he saw Zheng Zhila pointing his fingers behind her and then pointing to his own ear, frantically gesturing to her. Ling Xing turned around and looked behind him for some unknown reason. The boy behind him returned at an unknown time, sleeping soundly on the desk, revealing a small side face beyond his arm. It seemed harmless to humans and animals. At this moment, Ling Xing's mood can be described more than just envy. In such an environment, Su Qing Luo can fall asleep, truly deserving of the sleeping god. Zheng Zhila pointed to her ear again, then she approached Ling Xing and whispered, I saw him putting earplugs in his ear. Ling Xing suddenly realized, that's it. Tisk. Zheng Zhila leaned down on the desk with a hint of hesitation. I also want to take a nap, but it's so noisy. Hey, I just saw that Su Qing Luo seems to have several pairs of earplugs on hand. Why don't we borrow two from him first? Ling Xing disagrees. It's not good to disturb others' sleep, is it? Zheng Zhila glanced back and said, he just laid down two minutes ago. I bet he's closed his eyes right now and definitely not asleep. Can you lend him a try? Ling Xing's arm had already been extended, and she lightly patted Su Qing Luo's arm before remembering to ask, aren't you familiar with him? Why don't you borrow it from him? Zheng Zhila smiled shyly and said, I don't know him very well either, and I heard that he doesn't seem to have a good temper, especially when he hasn't woken up. Ling Xing suddenly withdrew his hand upon hearing the words. Unfortunately, it was already late. Su Qing Luo opened her sleepy eyes, frowned, and lifted her head from the desk, her gaze fixed straight on Ling Xing. However, in an instant, those beautiful eyes regained their clarity, and he squinted slightly, with a cold aura around him. What are you doing? he asked. The voice and color are flat, without any ups and downs. Ling Xing tugged hard at Zheng Zhila's hem under the desk, but Zheng Zhila pretended to be dead and didn't look back no matter how hard he pulled. Ling Xing hesitated for a moment, then looked at her with an unkind gaze at the young man behind her and forced out a teasing smile. Su, can you lend me a pair of your earplugs? Su Qing Luo didn't speak, just stared at her for a while, and then leaned back onto the desk. At the same time, a small box flew over from behind and landed directly in Ling Xing's arms. Ling Xing hurriedly caught it, opened the box, and inside were several pairs of brand new earplugs neatly arranged. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Preventing her from completing tasks You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 7 
Preventing her from completing tasks in Gila was also surprised that Su Qin Luo could easily throw earplugs. Thanks to their earplugs, Ling Xing and Zeng Gila barely leaned on their desks for a while during their lunch break. I don't know if I fell asleep or not, but my mental state in the afternoon was pretty good. At least I didn't feel sleepy during the teacher's lecture. The first class in the afternoon was math class. The math teacher stood on the podium with a stack of test papers and asked her classmates to take them one by one based on the names on the papers. Concerned about their self-esteem, she did not read the scores. Ling Xing and Zeng Jila quickly received the test paper. Ling Xing scored 142 points, while Zeng Jila scored 130 points, which is a full 12 points less than Ling Xing. After receiving the exam paper, Zeng Jila immediately flipped it over and looked at the last question that had been confusing her for a long time on the day of the exam. The answer to the last question is indeed wrong, and after Ling Xing's dense formulas, the result is that equation B does not hold and there is no solution, which is correct. After reading Ling Xing's exam paper, Zeng Jila instinctively turned back to look at Su Qin Luo in the back row. Su Qin Luo casually placed the test paper he had just received on the desk. When he saw Zeng Jila looking over, he didn't even bother to cover it up and allowed Zeng Jila to check his scores. Very good, 12 points. The word 12 is very bright red. Zeng Jila retreated slightly, leaning her back on Su Qin Luo's desk. She lowered her voice and asked, Su Qin Luo, did you only do the last question? Su Qin Luo lowered her delicate eyebrows and eyes, looking at her as if she had not woken up, as if she had not heard Zeng Jila's words throughout, without any response. His appearance was well received by Zeng Jila and he didn't feel embarrassed. He sat up straight. Ling Xing watched the whole process and couldn't help but ask his doubts, how do I feel like you care about his grades? She pointed back and asked, is his grades very good? Zeng Jila frowned and nodded, it's not just about good grades, he used to be the biggest psychological shadow on my learning journey. Ling Xing wanted to ask again, but the math teacher had already distributed the test paper. The math teacher's face was not good. Looking, and when it comes to the average score of this test, she hates it even more. Take a look at your score on this exam, the average score is only 83, not even reaching the passing line, and the highest score is only 145. The last question was only answered correctly by four students in the entire class. I am very disappointed with the score on this exam, and your class is simply the worst I have ever done in the opening exam. Which teacher hasn't said a few words before, you are the worst grade class I have ever taught, or, you are the worst discipline class I have ever taught. The students all had numb expressions and had long been accustomed to it. In this class, the math teacher mainly explained the easy to make mistakes and the last question on the test paper. After class, Classmates who usually play well immediately gathered together to discuss their scores. Everyone was curious about who the student who scored 145 points was. I don't know what happened on Xiu Yilin's end, Ling Xing only heard the system's prompt sound, congratulations to the host. You have obtained the favorable feeling value of the main supporting actor Zhou Yenwen plus 10. At present, the favorable feeling value of Zhou Yenwen is 12. Please continue your efforts. Although there was no fluctuation in the electronic sound, Ling Xing could hear a hint of pride. Xiu Yilin's voice didn't make her very happy when she heard it. After explaining the question to her for so long, I thought the favorability value should be at least 20, which is just that. System. Host, if your favorability value increases too much at once, it may not be a good thing. It's better to stay grounded and take your time. Chiu Yilin. Hmm, do you know how many points the female lead scored this time? System. 142 points, the third place in your class, the first place is the male lead. Chiu Yilin didn't speak to the system anymore, but turned her head to talk to Ji Yen at the back desk, holding the test paper. A sentence suddenly rang out in Ling Xing's mind. The system is like a camera without blind spots, 
and in front of it, you people are like tools, with no privacy at all. As long as it wants to know something, it doesn't need to go through a lot of trouble to inquire, just a simple query can know everything. Ling Xing felt waves of coldness on his back, and an inexplicable sense of nausea began to spread from his heart. She had a strong premonition that with the help of the powerful system, Chiu Yilin would gradually crush her and complete all the tasks instructed. But why? Why did someone want to read a story about a female supporting character's comeback? Her mundane life is about to be destroyed and disrupted. What did she do wrong? Why does a female supporting actress appear out of thin air, relying on having an unreasonable bug system to easily snatch away her life and push her into the abyss? So what is she? What is her years of hard work worth? A discarded child in the eyes of the system. Although it is not yet known what kind of luck the collected goodwill points can exchange for, I also want to know that completing the task for Chiu Yilin is completely detrimental to her. So, with knowledge of the situation, she couldn't just sit idly by like this. She had to think about whether there was any way to stop Chiu Yilin from completing the task. Ah, a strange girl's voice suddenly came from beside her. You also did the last question correctly. The sound is a bit sharp, causing ear pain from scraping. Ling Xing turned her head to the left and looked at the sound, standing in the hallway. Next to her desk was a girl with a slightly dark skin. The girl had a high ponytail and her hair was tied tightly, even her eyebrows were contorted, causing her facial features to look a bit uncomfortable. Ling Xing nodded and casually responded, hmm. The girl was not polite. She leaned over to Ling Xing and said, Classmate, I didn't quite understand what the teacher just said. Can you help me explain it again? Thank you. Ling Xing furrowed her brows, feeling a bit uncomfortable with the girl being too close to her, and her attitude when speaking was also disliked. She even said, Thank you, before agreeing, blocking her refusal. After all, Ling Xing was worried that it was his classmate and didn't feel embarrassed to refuse anymore. He pointed his pen at the last question on the exam paper and said, Where don't you understand? The girl smirked and said, Can you start from scratch? I didn't understand at all. As she spoke, several listeners gathered around her, some even carrying laptops and pens. Ling Xing saw with sharp eyes that Chiu Yilin had also gathered around. She didn't pay much attention and pointed to the question and gave a detailed explanation to the surrounding classmates. After speaking, a few classmates exclaimed with a sudden realization, except for the girl who still had a somewhat incomprehensible expression. Sai I still didn't quite understand. Ling Xing was not prepared to tell her again. She had just explained in such detail that this girl couldn't understand and didn't want to take notes. It was all her own business. However, she did see her desk mate Zingjila roll her eyes and silently utter a word. Stupid. Seeing Ling Xing unwilling to speak again, the girl's face became somewhat unattractive. Chiu Yilin, who was watching from the side, said in a timely manner, It seems that Ling Xing's remedial classes during the summer vacation have really been very effective. A light and ethereal sentence attributed all her previous efforts in learning to tutoring. The girl seemed more like she had heard some big news. Her face was full of surprise, and she looked at Ling Xing with a clear expression in her eyes. So you went to make up classes during the summer vacation, no wonder. No wonder what, no wonder she can do that question, and she can't. People always find various excuses for their foolishness. Ling Xing casually tugged at the corner of his mouth and said, speaking of which, the teacher taught us well. We were attending classes at the same tutoring institution, and the last question was also discussed by the teacher on the last day of class. You should have done it right, right. This sentence was spoken to Chiu Yilin. Chiu Yilin's face suddenly became a bit awkward. During the tutoring session at the tutoring institution, she was all thinking about how to guide Ji Yen in order to gain a good impression, without paying attention to what the teacher was saying. Then Ling Xing looked at the girl who was asking the question and asked, if your grades are not good, shouldn't you study more? 
the girl walked away with an awkward expression on her face. When leaving, Ling Xing whispered to Chiu Yilin and didn't know what they were saying. Ling Xing heard the electronic sound of the system again, congratulations to the host, you have received a favorable rating of plus 15 from the female supporting character N, Tian Jian. Please continue to work hard. Chiu Yilin clearly didn't expect to easily gain so much favor from Tian Jian, and she happily chatted with the system. Ling Xing felt tired and rubbed his temples, sometimes people are so strange. Although she had been using her own rest time to explain the problem to Tian Jian for so long, just because she didn't want to repeat it, Tian Jian immediately had no good feelings for her and turned to give all the good feelings to someone who had never helped her. Funny. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Water Handed by Two Girls. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8. Water Handed by Two Girls During the first two days of school, Cho Yilin has been intentionally making new friends. Fortunately, according to that system, liking values can only be obtained from important characters in the book. And Zingjila's sweet image only lasted for three days at most. On the third day of school, which was Friday afternoon, she was completely exposed in front of Ling Xing. The reason was that during the break between classes, Ji Yan told Ling Xing that he would play basketball with his classmates on the playground during the last physical education class and after school, and asked Ling Xing to help him bring a bottle of water. When the boys gather together, their favorite activity should be playing basketball. Ji Yan had already spoken it out, so Ling Xing naturally wouldn't refuse. Just about a bottle of mineral water, they were also in the same class during their freshman year. Ji Yan often asked her to help him bring a bottle of water to the playground after school. I finally looked forward to the last class, but the new physical education teacher did not teach martial arts ethics. He looked at the group of students in class 3 who were all focused on playing, and immediately decided to let them run around the playground twice to boost their morale. Despite the mournful cries of the classmates, they still had to run. One circle is 400 meters, and two circles are only 800 meters. For a small number of girls in the class, 800 meters is enough to exhaust half of their lives, including Zingjila. Zingjila's physical strength was very poor. As she was about to finish the first lap, she was honored to fall behind. She held down her right abdomen, which was painful due to sudden movement, with one hand and struggled to follow the team behind. Fortunately, she was not the only girl who fell behind. Even if the physical education teacher in the distance whistled loudly, those few girls who fell behind still had a broken attitude. After all, it was impossible to catch up with them, so they just let it go. After finishing two laps and getting a brief rest, the students slowly returned to the team, and the few students who fell behind finally managed to make their way back to the team. Due to several classmates dragging their feet, it took more than 10 minutes to reach 800 meters. The physical education teacher was clearly angry and loudly talked about the importance of exercising in front of the team, further emphasizing the precautions for autumn and winter physical education classes, and helping students better understand how to exercise. After speaking, disband. The words, disband, for the physical education teacher had just fallen into place, and Zingjila nervously grabbed Ling Xing's arm and said, Desk mate, help me. Ling Xing supported her arm and walked for a while before the two found a shady place to sit down. Zingjila's face turned extremely red, and it had been quite some time now. Her breathing was still noticeably heavy, just as weak as the chubby girl nestled in the corner, picking the ground with her nails. New classmates with new faces, most of the classmates in the class still can't recognize Ling Xing, and the girl in the corner deliberately avoids the group. Although she looks quite big, she is the only one in this playground, giving people a feeling of loneliness. Ling Xing just glanced at the girl a few more times when he was attracted by the distant commotion. There are many classmates gathered around the basketball court, and it must be that group of boys who started playing basketball. Ling Xing stood up and reached out his hand to pull Zingjila, saying, let's go and take a look too. 
Zheng Zhila reluctantly placed his hand on Ling Xing's hand and struggled to stand up, muttering, It's so hot, what's so nice about hitting a broken ball? There wasn't much to look at, but Ling Xing promised Ji Yen to bring him water. There are clear regulations in the school that prohibit going to the convenience store during class hours. Physical education class is also class time, and if you want to buy water, you can only wait until after school. The weather in September, the autumn tiger is still very fierce. The two of them gathered outside the basketball court and watched from a distance for a while. The playground was filled with a youthful atmosphere. Zheng Zhila touched his chin and began his mysterious speech. You said, is it interesting that so many of them are competing for a ball? If you really like the ball, isn't it good to buy one for each person and throw it? Ling Xing, dot. Ling Xing had not yet figured out how to answer when someone behind him burst out laughing. The two of them turned their heads at the same time, and standing behind them was a tall and thin boy wearing a pair of metal TR ring glasses. The lenses refracted light, making it difficult to see his eyes clearly. All they knew was that he was white and pure, and he looked gentle and gentle. Realizing that his sudden smile was not very polite, the boy clenched his fist and coughed lightly against his lips. I'm sorry, he said, I can't hold back. It's okay to apologize originally, but he still needs to add one more sentence. Zingjila's face was not good. Looking, after all, the person who was just laughed at was her. She squinted her eyes and looked up at the boy in a rather unfriendly tone, what's funny about it? Am I wrong? The height difference of nearly one head between the two made Zingjila shorter in terms of momentum. The boy touched the tip of his nose, his expression seemed a bit cramped, and his voice lowered a lot. Not really. Later, he looked at the basketball court and explained in a slow voice, actually, playing basketball and learning are both the same. Their commonality is that learning and the process both require perseverance and skills. The difference is that basketball tends to exercise the body, while reading tends to exercise the brain. Scoring goals is the result, and when both want to achieve high scores, they naturally need to work hard. A statement indirectly evaluated Zingjila's ignorance of saying one person, one ball just now. Is that right? Zingjila raised a big smile at the corner of his mouth. Although we haven't been together for a long time, Ling Xing knows that Zingjila's smile doesn't contain good intentions. Sure enough, since playing basketball can exercise your body, why don't you go? Don't you know that your body is weak like a chicken? That boy looks tall, thin, with wide shoulders and long legs, but he doesn't look like a weak chicken at all. The boy's gentle expression couldn't be sustained for a moment, with cracks every inch. He pushed his glasses on the bridge of his nose and quickly adjusted his mood, revealing a seemingly ambiguous smile. I really don't know. Zingjila put his hands around his chest and sneered, this demonstrates the importance of self-awareness. Oh, the boy's eyebrows relaxed, with a clear hint of provocation in his smile. Thank you for reminding my classmates. You're welcome, it's a piece of cake. Classmates should also exercise, after all, falling behind or something is a waste of everyone's time, said the boy with a more gentle smile. It's not good. A master's move is deadly. Fortunately, the school bell rang in time, and Ling Xing took Xingjila's arm and walked towards the small shop. Coming out of the convenience store, the shadow of the boy from earlier disappeared from the playground. Zingjila rolled his eyes at the place where he had just stood and commented, no grade. Ling Xing comforted her, a little thing is not worth it. Zingjila waved his hand and said, I don't need to be angry. Your expression tells me that the fact is not what you appear to be. The teenagers were still sweating in the sunlight, wild and flamboyant. After another perfect goal was scored, cheers echoed around them. At half time, Ji Yen looked around in the crowd, his gaze fixed on Ling Xing's side. After greeting his teammates, he strode towards this side. As soon as Ji Yen walked over, Ling Xing handed over the mineral water in his hand. Here. Here, here's water for you. 
two different directions simultaneously handed a bottle of mineral water to Ji Yen in front of him. Before he could react, almost instinctively, Ji Yen took the bottle of water closest to him. That bottle of water was not handed over by Ling Xing. Now, let alone Ji Yen, even Ling Xing was stunned. She looked in the direction of another bottle of water, and Chiu Yilin withdrew her outstretched arm, looking at Ji Yen with a smile on her face. Ling Xing's hand holding water was still stuck in mid-air. Ji Yen was already handsome and flamboyant when playing basketball, which attracted the attention of many classmates. This made them look at this side with a hint of embarrassment spreading in the air. For a moment, Ling Xing felt a sense of embarrassment in her heart, which made her forget to even retract her outstretched hand. Until a young man passed by behind Ji Yen, who had already walked over, he took two more steps back and stopped in front of Ling Xing, standing next to Ji Yen. Ling Xing looked up, Su Qing Luo lowered his head, and the two of them looked straight at each other across the sky. He lowered his gaze and glanced at the water in Ling Xing's hand, with an indescribable smile on the corner of his mouth. If he had to make a conclusion about that smile, it would have a hint of mockery. Then Su Qing Luo extended his long arm and Ling Xing's mineral water, which he was about to retrieve, came into his hands. He unscrewed the bottle cap and looked up to take two sips. From Ling Xing's perspective, one can see his smooth jawline in the rolling Adam's apple accompanied by swallowing movements. After drinking half a bottle, he put away the water bottle, twisted on the cap, and turned his head to say to Ling Xing, Thank you. After speaking, Su Qing Luo walked away with mineral water in his hand, without looking back. Ling Xing's outstretched hand was even confiscated. Zheng Zhila watched as Su Qing Luo's figure disappeared at the corner of the teaching building, exclaimed in surprise, and then sighed, Some people, their faces are really not as big as usual. When she said this, the person she was looking at was Ji Yan, with a sarcastic tone displayed on the surface. Ling Xing grabbed her arm and said, Let's go back to the classroom. Behind her, Ji Yan called her name. Star. Ling Xing's footsteps paused slightly, but Ji Yan hesitated to speak, and there was no more sound. Until Ling Xing's back disappeared like Su Qing Luo at the corner of the teaching building, Ji Yan clenched the mineral water bottle in his hand. I don't know why things turned out like this. Chiu Yilin controlled the corner of her mouth that kept wanting to rise and apologized softly to Ji Yan, Ji Yan, I'm sorry, I didn't know Ling Xing brought you water too. Even though Ji Yan's face was not good, he didn't blame Chiu Yilin. He forced out a stiff smile and said, It's okay, it's not your fault. Finally, he raised the water in his hand and added, Anyway. Thank you for the water. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 You successfully caught my attention. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 You successfully caught my attention on the way back, Ling Xing only lowered her head and walked silently and Zheng Zhila, who was walking next to her, also remained silent. At this moment, silence is better than sound. It was just after school time, and there were many people walking towards the school gate. Walking towards the classroom like the two of them was like walking in the opposite direction. To avoid colliding with other classmates, Ling Xing and Zheng Zhila walked against the wall, but when they reached the corner, Ling Xing still inevitably bumped into someone. It was a reckless young man who jumped down the stairs in two steps. Ling Xing controlled it and didn't hit it, but he couldn't stop his feet, leaving a black footprint on his white sports shoes. Ling Xing immediately apologized upon seeing the situation and said, I'm sorry. Perhaps there was a pain in his feet, and the boy instinctively lowered his head to look at his shoes. The corner of his mouth immediately curved downwards, indicating obvious disgust. Then he looked up and squinted at Ling Xing, who was stepping on him. Fiercely looking at it, it seems like I want to hit someone. Ling Xing quickly apologized again, I'm sorry, classmate. The boy still squinted his eyes at her, writing his displeasure directly on his face, and remained silent with his lips taut. 
Ling Xin couldn't understand his attitude and was about to say that if he really cared, she could also compensate him with a pair. At this moment, Zheng Zhila, who was standing beside her, approached her ear and whispered to her, Don't you know this person? Ling Xing instinctively glanced at the boy again and shook his head. Zheng Zhila said two words with his lips. School bully. Ling Xing, dot. Damn it. Any chance of hitting someone is the school bully. This damn female lead aura. It's outrageous. The school bully Liang Qingzhou was about a head taller than Ling Xing, which allowed him to look at Ling Xing with a condescending posture. He lifted his foot with a clear expression in his eyes. Intentionally stepping on me. So, what exactly is he understanding with Ran? Ling Xing immediately bowed 90 degrees and apologized again with a very sincere attitude, Classmate, I'm really sorry, I really didn't mean to. Liang Qingzhou didn't give her a chance to apologize or explain at all. He rubbed his chin and looked Ling Xing up and down, pondering, do you want to intentionally use this to catch my attention? Zheng Zhila, who was standing beside him, suppressed the smile that reached his lips, causing his entire face to turn red. Ling Xing, dot. What does deliberately catching his attention mean? Is it a domineering CEO? Where exactly did this product come from, Dubi? Ling Xing's silence was almost equivalent to default in Liang Qingzhou's eyes. He looked at Ling Xing up and down for a while before nodding reluctantly and saying, It's okay. You successfully caught my attention. Ling Xing's mouth twitched uncontrollably. Do you want to add WeChat? After speaking, Liang Qingzhou actually took out a phone from his pocket. Do you want to add so many fucking scenes to yourself? No, the point is that they are also students. Why can they carry their phones with them? Ling Xing took a step back and distanced herself from Liang Qingzhou. She helplessly explained, Classmate, I really accidentally stepped on you. I sincerely apologize to you. Liang Qingzhou pursed his lips into a straight line, and the expression on his face was blatantly written, what are you pretending to be? I still don't know your thoughtfulness to be honest, Ling Xingchang has never seen such a narcissistic person before at his age. The final farce ended with Liang Qingzhou giving Ling Xing his phone number and specifically reminding him to add him on WeChat. After Liang Qingzhou left, Ling Xing finally breathed a sigh of relief. Zheng Zhila looked at Liang Qingzhou's back with an indescribable expression and murmured, I really didn't know that the new school bully was actually a narcissist. The two of them continued walking towards the direction of the classroom. As they climbed the stairs, Ling Xing remembered and asked, I remember the school bully was senior Li Qingma in the third year of high school. When did he change people? After all, when Li Qingma, a senior student, read the self-criticism letter, he did not forget to threaten teachers and students, and his heroic behavior is still widely circulated in F High School. Zheng Zhila's physical strength was very poor, and he only climbed to the third floor when he began to pant. I heard that Emoji's personality has become much more restrained since he was admitted to be university, and Liang Qingzhou can be considered a rising star. Is there still a successor in this matter for the rising star of God? Ling Xing didn't speak anymore, and the two of them returned to the classroom together, took meal cards from their backpacks, and prepared to go to the cafeteria. As soon as Ling Xing walked out of the classroom door, she saw Ji Yan running towards her, panting heavily. She frowned invisibly. Ji Yan stood in front of Ling Xing and blocked her way, saying, Xing, I didn't mean to. Not stopping things in a timely manner and explaining them afterwards is a particularly boring thing. Ling Xing interrupted him and said, let's go eat first. If it's late, the cafeteria will run out of food. Ji Yan breathed a sigh of relief and pointed to the classroom. I'll go back to the classroom and get my meal card, he said thin sweat soaked through the large pieces of clothing behind the young man. Ji Yan was still Ji Yan but Ling Xing felt that the distance between the two had been invisibly stretched far. Zheng Zhila glanced in the direction of the classroom and asked Ling Xing, Are you really waiting? 
Ling Xing shook his head and pulled her arm as he walked forward. I didn't promise to wait for him, he said perhaps only Ling Xing knew in her heart that she would never bring water to Ji Yen again in the future. When I returned home from school, the sky had completely darkened. The house was as dark as usual, and Ling Xing touched the switch on the corner of the wall to turn on the light. He lowered his head at the entrance to change his shoes. Suddenly, a faint sound came from the living room, and she called out the name, Mao Wan. When she looked up and suddenly saw the familiar figure on the sofa, she was inevitably startled. The young man sitting on the sofa was startled by Ling Xing's consciousness, and he suddenly felt a bit at a loss. He stood up holding a ball of hair and whispered to Ling Xing, It's me. Brother, Ling Xing changed his shoes and walked towards the boy, you're back. The young man responded with a low voice, watching Ling Xing's figure getting closer and closer. He unconsciously took a small step back, and behind him was the sofa, which he had no choice but to retreat. Fortunately, Ling Xing had no intention of coming back. She kept a distance of about five steps from the boy and looked around the living room, saying, Mom and Dad didn't come back with you. Perhaps not accustomed to being so close to people, the young man lowered his white long eyelashes to cover his pale blue eyes, and his short white hair obediently draped over his eyebrows, beautiful like an angel. His voice sounded even lower. No, there are still some things they haven't dealt with at work and they won't be back until a few days later. That's it. Ling Xing was not surprised that his parents couldn't come back. Her mother and stepfather are both workaholics, and when they work together, they become even more crazy. It's common not to see them for ten and a half days, and it's normal not to see them once in a month or two. Taking advantage of the water gap, Ling Xing glanced at her brother again. The young man lowered his head and was constantly masturbating the cat. His snow-dot-white fur was lazily nestled in his arms, almost blending into his white clothes. This young man is her half-brother, named Shi Shu. He was born with albinism, with white hair and eyelashes, and even his skin was almost transparent. His skin is easily sunburned, and he prefers the gentle moon over the scorching sun. Medically, he is known as a child of the moon. After finishing a glass of water, Ling Xing greeted Shi Shu and prepared to go back to the room to take two test papers. It was evident that her classmates had already started taking the test. She didn't want to take much further, but she didn't want to step back either. Shi Shu nodded and asked, Are you hungry? As Ling Xing turned around and prepared to return to the house Ling Xing subconsciously replied, I'm not hungry. There was no sound behind him, and Ling Xing didn't turn back and went straight back to the room. It wasn't until most of the exam paper was written that Ling Xing remembered in panic, if she really lived in a book, what role did Shi Shu play as her brother? End of this chapter Chapter 10 Achieving 20 Favorite Points You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Achieving 20 Favorite Points Sometimes at home, Ling Xing's breakfast also has a place to go, and he no longer has to deal with it casually like he did when he was at home. In the morning, the kanji on the table was still steaming. The hairball probably smelled the fragrance and circled around the legs of the table. At last, it completely forgot its original intention and chased its tail. Ling Xing slept late yesterday while doing exercises, and woke up a bit late this morning. Seeing that she was about to be late, she didn't sit down to have breakfast anymore. She took a spoon and picked up a bowl to drink, and while wiping her mouth with paper, she didn't forget to put an egg in her pocket. She hurriedly walked and shouted, Brother, to the kitchen as she changed her shoes. Without waiting for a response, she thought to herself, I'm almost late, I'm going to school first. The living room door was closed, and Shi Shu, dressed in home clothes, walked out of the kitchen carrying two cups of milk. The living room was empty, and the sound just now seemed to be his hallucination. After a moment's pause, Shi Shu walked towards the dining table. He carefully prepared the breakfast for two hours on the table. Except for a bowl of kanji, the rest remained the same. After a faint glance, he stopped looking. For a long time, 
he picked up his cup and took a sip of milk, then squatted down and scooped the overly cheerful ball into his arms. The milk was poured onto the plate, and he rubbed the head of the fluffy ball and whispered, the taste is pretty good. Would you like to try it too? His voice was hoarse, as if it was filled with countless emotions. Perhaps due to going out too late today, Ji Yen did not wait for her outside Ling Xing's house. Ling Xing breathed a sigh of relief to herself. To be honest, she is a bit unwilling to get too close to Ji Yen now. Running all the way to the school gate, Ling Xing met an acquaintance head dot on. Compared to Ling Xing's gasping for breath, Su Qing Luo looked much calmer. He was also on the verge of being late, with both hands in his pockets and a leisurely pace. It seemed like he was out for a walk, leisurely and leisurely. Sure enough, following the rules can cause people to lose a lot of happiness. Ling Xing quickly pinched off the envy buds that had grown out of place in his heart. Encountering each other head dot on, she felt embarrassed and pretended not to see it. She shouted, Sue, good morning. The young man raised his eyes upon hearing the sound, and the morning sun stained his pitch black eyes with a faint amber color. His expression seemed to be a bit tired. When he saw Ling Xing, his dark eyes seemed to crack through a gap, and a silk thread overflowed through the gap, being engulfed by the thick darkness. In a daze, Ling Xing suddenly remembered a photo that Nanxi showed her last year. The young man in the picture was leaning against a polonia tree, with a slender figure. He lowered his head and had a high nose bridge, and his forehead naturally drooped, half covering his pitch black eyebrows the boy in the picture matches the boy in front of him, even his lazy and proud energy is perfectly matched. It's getting late, Ling, Su Qing rolled his head slightly to the right and glanced at the watch he took out of his pocket. His lips slightly curled up, and a mischievous aura rippled. You'll be late in 1 minute and 30.7 seconds. Ling Xing was taken aback for a moment, but before he could fully react, a clear voice belonging solely to the youth rang in his ear. 1 minute 30.6, 1 minute 30.5, 1 minute 30.4. Damn it! It's better not to say this greeting. Immediately, Ling Xing grabbed the one shoulder backpack that was left behind and hugged it in his arms. Ignoring it, he ran towards the classroom again. At the moment Ling Xing stepped into the classroom, the morning self.study bell rang. As soon as she sat down in her seat, the sound of tables and chairs moving could be heard from behind. Turning around, he saw Su Qing Luo calmly flipping through a book in his hand. He noticed Ling Xing's gaze and looked up. The two of them looked at each other across the air, and Su Qing Luo turned his face to take the lead in shifting his gaze away. Running quite fast, he said. Ling Xing smiled and said, It's not as fast as you. As she accelerated her run, she watched helplessly as the cargo took three steps and surpassed her on the stairs. Long legs always have many benefits. Zheng Zhila looked at Su Qing Luo on the side, then turned to her desk mate and glanced back and forth. She couldn't help but ask Ling Xing in a low voice, How did you come with Su Qing Luo? It's obvious, Ling Xing blinked his eyes. Being late made us meet. That's right, both of them came to the classroom today. Her senior class often said that learning bad habits is easy, but learning good habits is difficult. This seems to make some sense. Star. Ji Yen called Ling Xing across the aisle. Ling Xing turned her head to look to the left, and her gaze briefly met with that of Chiu Yilin, who also turned her head to look at her, before moving away from each other. Ji Yan's expression was somewhat casual, and he explained, I waited for you for a while this morning, but didn't see you come out. I thought you had already left. Ling Xing nodded and said sincerely, Ji Yan, my home is not far from school either. You don't have to wait for me for school in the future. Without waiting for Ji Yan to answer, he sat upright and took out the two test papers he had taken last night to carefully examine them. Ji Yan opened his mouth and didn't say what was on his lips. When Ling Xing studies seriously, he hates being disturbed the most. As a child who grew up together, he knows this better than anyone else. 
In the morning self.study classroom, there was a lot of chaos, some were doing exercises, some were memorizing vocabulary, and some didn't even have the heart to learn. They gathered together and chatted. The new class monitor chose to turn a blind eye to this, not only ignoring it, but also seeing his eager and frequently looking back, it was not an exaggeration to say that he wanted to join. As the male lead, Ji Yen has several mysterious little brothers around him, and Ling Xing also knows those people. The boy sitting directly behind Ji Yen is a bit skinny. His name is Ho Lin, and because of his slim figure, several friends who play well call him Monkey. The monkey patted Ji Yen's shoulder and asked him, Brother Yen, why did you come with the girl sitting at the table in front of you this morning? Is there something that the brothers don't know about? What's the situation? I just ran into each other on the road. Ji Yan's attitude was perfunctory, as if he hadn't taken this matter seriously. Ling Xing's pen, which had stopped for a moment, started moving again. Chiu Yilin's house is in the southwest direction of the school, and Ji Yan's house is in the northeast direction of the school. The two completely opposite directions met on the way to school, which was really a coincidence. From this perspective, Ling Xing could see Chiu Yilin chatting with her desk mate, and the two of them didn't know what to say, occasionally laughing together. Until the preparation bell rang, in the chaotic classroom, Ling Xing heard the electronic sound of the quiet morning self. Study. Host, on the way to school with the male lead, you have earned a total of nine points of favorability from the male lead. Now, the male lead's favorability has accumulated to 17 points. Please continue to work hard, host. Chiu Yilin's voice was drowned out by the noise at the front table. The peaceful life is once again disrupted, strand by strand, without any organization. Ling Xing felt a restless feeling rising from her heart. Her writing hand increased its strength, and the thin and crisp test paper was scratched at a corner by the tip of the pen. Zing Zhila was eating candy, her cheeks bulging like a hamster full of melon seeds. She pushed several fruit candies of different colors to Ling Xing, and her mouth was unclear as she said, Don't be impatient, we still have a long way to go in the future. She thought that Ling Xing, like her, would have a small temper and become a demon when answering questions. Come on, let's shake off the test paper first. Life is so bitter, let's eat a sweet candy. Thank you. Ling Xing casually pinched a sugar, peeled off the sugar coating, and just filled the sugar into his mouth. The sour and sweet taste eased Ling Xing's restlessness slightly. He looked at his desk mate who was proudly raising his eyebrows at her, about to speak, but was once again broken by the sudden electronic sound, the electronic tape brought unprecedented joy this time. Ding! Congratulations to the host. You have earned 20 points of favor from the male lead Ji Yen, and the host can choose to exchange two points of luck from the female lead or exchange for something else. Ling Xing looked towards Ji Yen with a hint of disbelief. Ji Yen was indeed talking to Chiu Yilin, with a gentle expression, the way he used to treat her. End of this chapter